Hi there. You know, one of the things that people want to do oftentimes with a GIS is they want to output their final analysis into some sort of a map document or a layout that they can share with other people. Well, let's talk about how you can do that right here. In this example, I have my final, in these, these little polygons that you see, my final sites, in this case for a proposed fire tower in the Los Hills of eastern Nebraska. The yellow highlighted polygons are the larger of the sites. Those are the ones that I really want to consider. Now, in my analysis, I've created a lot of different layers behind here, behind the sites that I can use. For example, contour lines. I've also created a hill shade. I've created an aspect map showing the direction of slope. I've created a slope map. So I've created a lot of different layers. And remember, you're not confined to just the layers that you have on your local computer. You also have access to ArcGIS Online. So I could, if I wanted to, make my base map an imagery base map. As you can see here, I've got satellite imagery streaming down from ArcGIS Online that I can use inside my, my project here. I also have other base map layers and for that matter other layers sitting out there on ArcGIS Online that I could use. So here's the topographic base layer. I think for this study though I want to use my hill shade. My hill shade will give it a nice backdrop and then I'm also going to zoom in on the data that I have in terms of my final study sites. So those are the sites that I really want to consider here. Now I've just turned on my hydro layer and my roads layer. How do I do that? How do I create a layout? Well, there's lots we could talk about here, but in the lower left of your data frame, there is a layout view. And I'm going to turn that on right now. And so let's talk briefly about what kinds of things you can add to your layout. First, I'm going to, to crop the area that I want, as I've just done here, for my layout. I'm going to use the insert tool to insert some things like a title in my layout. I'm going to change the title as well as the symbology those are my final sites so that's what my title of my map is going to be. I might also want a scale bar on there so I'm going to insert scale bar I'm going to move it to my desired location. I'm also going to move this down, my whole data frame. Remember that this data frame in your layout is tied to your map view. So you don't want to be deleting this. If you delete this, you delete it from your map view, and that wouldn't be good. I've altered my title slightly so I could have more text on there. I'm also going to insert a photograph. Here's the photograph of the Lewis Hills that I want to insert. I've moved things around a bit. Now I've put my sources on there, the date, and myself as the author. Let's zoom out a bit. I can see that I need to move my scale bar. perhaps make it a little bit bigger. Now I've used the zoom to whole page so I can see what my map layout is going to look like. Now there are a lot of embellishments that I could make right here. One thing that I need is a, a legend. So let's go ahead and insert that. I'm inserting my legend. I'm going to take the defaults and see what that looks like. Perhaps I want my legend near my map. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Not perfect. There are things that can improve on it. In essence, you have a lot of capabilities here. Now you've got this layout as well as your original map document. 
And so when you change things on the map document, they get changed on the layout. So you don't have to keep going back to your layout. If you want to, you can, to make additional adjustments to it. Now this layout is something that you can save as a PDF. You can print it. You can do a variety of things with it. But keep in mind, the layout tool is quite good. There's also additional things that you can do. For example, if you look over here under Customize, there is a layout tool. And the layout tool allows you to do some things in addition to what we've done here. I hope this brief tour of the layout functionality has helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and keep mapping.